Car prices could surge 10% or more as the UAW or United Auto Workers threatens additional walkouts, according to experts, even as the bitter standoff threatens GM, Ford, and Stellantis with punishing losses with as much as $125 million per week. As the strike continues, the impact to new cars could be bad for buyers. The strike means certain vehicles will not be produced. Common sense tells us a month-long strike could lead to roughly 10% increase in vehicle prices with hikes depending on the make and the model. Basic supply and demand will cause a price increase, and that includes for used cars as well. As inventories reduced from dealer lots and manufacturers sell dealers what they have left prior to the strike, fewer cars will be available on the lots, and you're likely to see prices go up quickly. Some dealers have already been saying that they're going to increase prices each week the strike continues. Tom Maioli, a Ford dealership owner in New Jersey, expects to raise his prices by 20% once the strike continues for over two weeks. This is going to cause some problems. The UAW is pushing car manufacturers to negotiate to a higher wage and benefits, and the UAW is planning to continue to target strike plants that have the most expensive vehicles, most popular vehicles, and that means trucks and SUV plants are the main focus. This may force customers to look at other brands, but full-size trucks come from three big automakers, GM, Ford, and Ram, and that's going to be a huge impact on work trucks. Maybe you're not buying a new car, this strike will impact others who just need tires, brakes, anything you need that keeps your car running. This is all delivered to the dealers by UAW employees and its members, and typically the unions stand by each other's side. Car manufacturers knew a strike was possible. They grew their inventories in August in anticipation of the strike, which has affected the three major automaker assembly plants, a GM factory plant in Wentzville, Missouri, a Ford plant in Wayne, Michigan, and a Stellantis Jeep plant in Toledo, Ohio. One week later, the UAW plans to add more plants to their targeting strikes, and this could increase to another three plants as the weeks continue. The impact is real for the economy. Collectively, GM, Ford, and Stellantis produce almost half of the domestically assembled cars, according to Goldman Sachs, 14,000 of which are produced weekly at the targeted plants. The investment bank predicts that the auto production would likely fall sharply, which is going to be impacted by the strike. That's kind of obvious, but this is going to impact more than just the car manufacturers. It's going to impact the economy. And that impact to the economy is huge. A 10-day strike equals $5.6 billion in economic loss that cannot be recovered. GM's Wentzville, Missouri plant makes the GMC Canyon in Colorado, which are mid-sized pickup trucks, while Ford's Wayne, Michigan plant is a production site for the Bronco and Ranger models. The Stellantis plant in Toledo, Ohio produces the Jeep Gladiator and other Jeep products. The strike has a larger impact on just the plants. It impacts the suppliers, especially from independent companies. GM has stopped building the Chevy Malibu and the Cadillac XT4 last Wednesday after running short of stampings made at the Missouri plant. They're on strike. Stellantis said it was laying off workers at the Ohio machining plant and expected to make more layoffs in Indiana because the factories work on what's called Just-In-Time or JIT. These parts, components, show up literally hours before they're needed on the production line. They're not stored in warehouses until they're ready. There are even some companies that are benefiting because of the strike, and this is important to know as well. The last time the UAW struck, they targeted General Motors in 2019 in a strike against their plant that lasted a month and a half, the longest such action since 1970. And in the end, the UAW members received $11,000 signing bonus, as well as a performance bonus, two 3% annual raises, and two 4% lump sum payments. GM also closed a few plants that were slated for closure permanently, and this kind contract structure was then used to reach similar agreements with Ford and Stellantis. This sounded like a good deal for the UAW members at the time. However, soon after the COVID pandemic struck and plants were closed down during a nationwide lockdown, extreme supply issues affected the industry significantly, if you remember the chip shortage, and that impacted the industry from 2021 through early 2023. Now, inflation has risen over 17% since the beginning of 2021, and that eroded all the wage gains in some of the UAW's previous contract. And it's easy to understand why the bold UAW membership demands in this context 
of much larger money and more benefits. There is no real easy answer to resolve this strike, and the longer the strike lasts, the impact to the workers, the manufacturers, and the economy is not good. It is good for other brands that have vehicles to sell, and they're not impacted by the union strike. But we shall see, because the suppliers may be affecting them as well. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, because I'm sure you will, I'll be happy to answer. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, the book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.